Evening everyone, welcome to some late night mod review with me, Tick. How's it going? Today we're going to be looking at the Quantum Craft mod released today by Dan200 and Minecraft Teacher. It's a mod that seeks to add quantum mechanics or their closest thing that you can get to them in Minecraft and it does it in some very interesting ways. It The mod was developed in uh, partnership with some Caltech physicists and with Eli Media, who probably organized it. And I'm sure Google Search helped out there as well. And the mod is based around the... currently, in its first version, is based around the superposition uh, quantum mechanic. And superposition... I am not a scientist, just to quickly let you know, but superposition, as I understand it, is that any object that has multiple states can simultaneously be in all the states until it is observed, at which point it then becomes one particular state. So if we take this QCraft logo that I've quickly crafted here, and just run through, and swap, it changes. So these blocks are quantum blocks that have got the property set so that if you are observing them from a particular direction, they actually change. It's pretty cool. Loads of uses for this sort of thing. Uh, what is also possible is that the block can be invisible unless observed from a particular direction, but we'll get into that shortly. Okay, so let's get into how you get onto this mod. The mod result re revolves around this particular ore, which is quantum ore. It is just currently a palette swap of redstone, has the same effects, and is found on roughly the same level. I wasn't able to find it above Y22 or so, uh, however it didn't seem to be biome specific. You can mine it with pretty much any tool at the minute. So, uh, wooden pickaxe still gets it for me. It is affected by... Uh, fortune, and you can indeed silk touch these blocks as well. Nice. Okay, so let's get into how you use the dust that is produced by mining. One of the first uh, essences is the essence of superposition. This one can be used, but it is primarily used in other uh, in the other recipes. So, you have the next essence, which is Essence of Observation. And then you have... Doo, 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 essence of Entanglement. Alright. Let's just set that. And these will affect other blocks. Other items that you can craft, which are pretty important for crafting... Oh, I've forgotten the recipe for the goggles. How typical. Yeah, that's the other way around. Our quantum goggles. These are fairly important. I'll show you why they are important in a minute. And then the quantum computer, which is actually built almost exactly the same as a computer craft computer, surprisingly enough. However, I haven't actually been able to figure out anything about the quantum computer as of yet, so I won't show you anything with it because currently there is no information about Dan200 and uh, Minecraft Teacher have been very secretive about just how far you can go with this mod. At the minute, uh, it generally only affects vanilla blocks and only whole blocks as far as I can tell. Uh, might actually affect slabs, but won't affect any moving blocks. So you can't do this to a chest. You can't do. Uh, you can't use. What, what was the other thing I tried? Doors, crafting table, and furnace doesn't work either. All right. So let's let's show you an example of what actually happens when you create the blocks. So, nothing, nothing, and then walls. How lovely. Let's show you how we make these. 
Let's give myself some blocks. I'm going to give myself quite a lot of blocks to start with. Uh, and we'll use wool because wool is the easiest way. So we don't need quite that many. Six will do. So your primary uh, essence is going to be essence of observation. And in fact, this is the base that you will use for most of it. The way you create quantum blocks is to set your essence in the middle and then put your material in the crafting grid with it. Where you place the block in the grid determines the position that is needed to observe it. Okay, so that is a block that needs to be observed from the south, that needs to be observed from the east, that needs to be observed from the north, that needs to be observed from the west, this needs to be observed from above, and this needs to be observed from below. However, you're not limited to creating a block of just one observational point. You can create a block that is observed from every location as the same, or you can mix it up so that... Uh, am I missing one? Oh yeah, well, whoops. This block will be a different wool block depending on which way I observe it. So currently white, and then blue, and then yellow, purple, and yellow again. Anyway, you get the picture here. If we take a look at it with the quantum goggles on, you can see that these are observed blocks. So they have a state that is almost solid, but if we make ourselves another block, this one can't be observed from most directions. You'll see here that it is in this heavy flux state. And this is a block that has not yet been observed. And looking at blocks in the quantum with the quantum goggles will not register as being observed. So it doesn't matter what I did to this block. As long as I'm wearing the goggles, I can place it and I do not have to worry. You'll notice that it is completely incorporeal, whilst these ones are not. So if I take the goggles off, now I just need to remember which way I saw it from. There we go. It is now a solid block. You can see? Observed. If I take these off, turn around, it disappears. Unobserved. Yeah, nice and easy. And it has a lot of uses because Whilst they're unobserved and you can go through them, you can use them as doors. So you can actually take a block, such as this one, have it be solid at your base, and then be gone, and now you can go through. Let's just make sure. Uh, one thing you do have to watch out for is you can simply replace a block when it's in its un unobserved state. And that is it, it is gone. Another thing to note is that when a block is observed and you break it, you do not get the quantum block itself back. If you mine it, uh, if you use a tool that is appropriate for the material that you are breaking, you will get that block, the core block, but you will not get the quantum version of the block at all. Ooh, that was a bit... There is a video in the thread that gives you a little bit more examples, but hopefully from this you'll be able to build your own. Thre it Currently, like as I said, it's in its first version, so I imagine there's quite a lot more to come. It is currently exceedingly basic in what you can apply. 
So let's take a look, now that we've looked at observable blocks, let's take a look at entangled blocks. So if we make this block white, except when viewed from above, and we entangle it. Now entangling creates a creates two blocks. And so let's put let's put one over here. White. Doesn't matter, we turn around. Turn around, always white. Okay, so it's been observed. And we'll place this one over here. Ah, oh, that's typical. So still white, still white, still white. Orange? Now that one's orange too. Entanglement means that whatever state the uh, the first block or is observed in, that state is transferred to the second block. So you're able to create blocks that change state even when you're just viewing one. Currently it only produces one, uh, a, a set of two. So if we if we make let's make say four of these nice white and orange blocks and we put two in there and hope to entangle them both you see it will make two pairs so let's place these two like this these two like this. If I change that one, nothing actually happens. It's kind of broken. This did actually work earlier. This is... Oh wow, actually it is almost completely broken. Okay, so uh, there's a bug for you. <laughs> I was able to previously... Yeah, there, see? Um, I'm not directly observing that other one. So these... Yeah, this is a bit strange. Okay, sorry about that. I was previously able to make it just work just fine. Uh, I'll show you over here. If you if you place these blocks in creative, uh, since you're using the same entangled pair in creative and it nev the blocks never actually disappear, let me just find my test block here again. So that would be the issue then. I was placing these blocks in creative. There is a bunch of blocks over there and this one over here. You'll see that these blocks over here now appear. If you change that, they disappear. And now they appear. So that's how entanglement works. Basically by pairing two blocks or multiple blocks if you use creative. Uh, a really cool feature would be if you could create a stack of entangled blocks that are all entangled, but it's that's not really the way um, the, the whole quantum entanglement thing works. Quantum entanglement's only between two physical constructs. Unfortunately so. I still love this. This is just great. That you can create blocks of any kind. And I just switch around. Alright, so currently, as I said, this is just not a completely finished mod yet. Uh, there's no information about the comp quantum computer. As soon as I can figure something out for it, for you, I will put that in. You put it down as this frame incomplete. I haven't been able to figure out exactly what that means. So I've placed any number of computer blocks in a con any number of configurations. I'm pretty sure that there must be something that I'm doing not quite right. See? Frame incomplete. 
So I'm sure I'll figure it out at some point. I'm going to keep playing around with this mod. But it is really fantastic so far. I can think of quite a few applications, particularly hidden bases, uh, bases that change shape, haunted houses. Oh, actually, a really cool feature that I do want to show you is, let's take this gold block. If we observe it from this direction, it is gone. From this direction, it is here. If we give ourselves a sign, and let's give ourselves a item frame. Sign is still there. That's all good. Now, if we give ourselves the item frame, this is really cool. Boom, item frame still there. So you can have floating item frames. And in fact, I believe that you can actually do it from the quantum goggle view when you initially place the block. Which is really cool. So you can have all sorts of cool designs there. Anyway, hope this was helpful. Uh, this mod has been a lot of fun. And I'm going to play around with it a bit more and see what other cool stuff I can come up with. In the meantime, thanks for watching everybody. You've been a fantastic audience as always. And I will see you next time. Adios.